A magnitude 3.4 quake has hit California supervolcano Long Valley Caldera six hours after the nearby Nevada 3.6 magnitude today. We know that Long Valley, of course, for a long time has had the magma inflating. This is a map of the magma. Look at that. It's from coming from Baja, California. It's like a Y-shaped. It goes into the west coast and then the east part goes through Utah up into Yellowstone and then turns 180 degrees west to um, flood the plain under the uh, Idaho volcanoes. This is a past Long Valley caldera ash cloud. That was a super eruption of 760,000 years ago. This is the location of Long Valley caldera. And just, be, uh, just to east of that is the Mina, uh, Nevada. Just because of the fact that it's in Nevada doesn't mean it's, in the same, it's not the same area it is. Uh, just because they have a border dividing them doesn't mean that not, they're not close. Let's keep this in mind, though, because this area is full of magma underneath. Let's just go to the maps and see what's going on there now. And these are all the quakes. Uh, uh, the quakes that I referred to were the ones above 2.5. But uh, we notice that we have swarms in Long Valley, Caldera right there. Also, this southern edge, just south of that, that, it's also Long Valley. And also this Mina Nevada is also Long Valley. Now, I'm not going to go into that. That's another volcano there. But uh, this one just popped up. And that's a 3.6 Long Pine, California. That's between Long Valley and Ridgecrest. Ridgecrest, we see, is still having a lot of earthquakes. And uh, as we can see, let's... Pan in again, okay, you can see uh, that's uh, Mono Lake, this whole area here is Long Valley Caldera, okay, and obviously we've had this going on for a, over a month now, about, I would say about two months, but you can see there's hundreds of quakes there this past week, I would say thousands perhaps, but that is, let's go to our above 2.5 so that we can clear all of this out. But you can see that the past hour has had many quakes there as well. Let's go back to 2.5. All right, as that's coming up, let's go to our... Um, okay, here we are. And there we are. Okay. That will make it a little, a little bit more simple for us, simpler uh, to see. So this was the one that was 3.4 around uh, midnight last night, and this one was... Uh, around 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh, I got them mixed up. Okay, the, the Long Valley is 3.6. Okay, so Long Valley Caldera is 3.6. So that's right at the, um, okay, 3.4, Mina, 3.6, California. Okay, let's go to our map. And uh, 11 people felt it. A couple of years, a couple of hours ago, when I put these maps up, this is our shake map. As you can see, this is Mono Lake. The whole of Long Valley Caldera has been shaken. This is the area of Mina around here, and even the Mina has been shaken. Mina areas. Let's pan out. You can see. Oh, I have the these sh uh, shake stations. Let's take the stations out. Okay. So this is uh, quite a big. All right, the whole thing, the Long Valley has been shaking because the MENA earthquakes have, uh, most of them have been around uh, on a daily basis around three and a half, four, four and a half, and they have shaken Long Valley caldera, which is not good, of course, because that's a super volcano. Now, uh, let's go to the 3.4 of MENA, and uh, one person reported because there's not many people living out there, but that's a shake map for MENA. It hasn't, this one, 3.4, has not shaken Long Valley, but don't worry, I mean, Long Valley has been shaken by its own earthquake right there. And uh, let's go to our Long Valley Volcano Discovery, Long Valley Caldera. And this is the uh, general map of the area where we have here our legend is where the Mina uh, area earthquakes are. The Mono Lake, and this is uh, Mammoth Mountains, and this is uh, Inyo Craters under there, Mammoth Lakes, and the uh, various geological formations, Map for Long Valley Caldera and the Mono Inyo Craters, 
and uh, a little bit of the background. It's a large 17 by 32 kilometer long valley caldera east of the central Sierra Nevada range in California. It's a result of a giant explosive eruption that happened 760,000 years ago and formed the widespread voluminous Bishop Tuff. The caldera has been showing unrest in recent years in the form of deformation of the caldera floor and earthquake swarms. It contains numerous hot springs and fumaroles and it has a um, Long Valley Observatory set up to monitor it. Now the background, the Bishop Tuff formed 600,000 years ago. Activity continued in the central part of the caldera to form a lava dome. Smaller explosive eruptions of rhyolite, rhyodacite pumice occurred as well, forming outer ring fracture vents. And the last activity was about 50,000 years ago. Uh, we're talking about uh, a supervolcano here. Its early history, the caldera contained a large lake where the new lava dome formed an island. Beach deposits can be seen on the caldera walls today. And later, the lake drained through the Owens River Gorge. That goes towards, uh, that gorge goes towards Ridgecrest. The younger Inyo craters overlap the caldera, but are chemically, technologically distinct from Long Valley magmatic system. And these are some nice pictures of Long Valley. You can see a dike over here and uh, turquoise water from fumaroles, Crater Lake, close to uh, Lake Naivasha Vasha and Hell's Gate. And um, I'll leave a link below for you for this, you can see. And this is the Nevada area. Okay, Nevada earthquakes, Adobe Hills, Aurora, Aurora is around here. There's Mono Lake right there. So there's, it says here that they have nine volcanoes, but there's a lot more for example, Aurora Bodhi is here, but Aurora Bodhi, Adobe Hills is not even on this list. So, okay, so you can understand there's more than 10, 10 and more. But anyway, um, this is Mono Lake. So this is the Inyo, you can see right there. And uh, the other ones that we had are around Adobe Hills and Clayton. Because if you see this, this here, Mount Whitney, no, not no, not that. Uh, this one, this area here. Sorry, this thing here. Okay, that's around uh, this area. This here, Adobe Hills, Clayton Valley. So, the, uh, all as you can see, this whole area around the Walker Lane Fault System on the uh, California Nevada border, that is uh, the area of the high threat volcanoes of California. Okay. 3.7, and this one is, what, 3.6, Long Pine, California, and what happened to that? I, that? As we saw in the map before, this is an area that has magma underneath. Okay, they have the shake map there. Let's see where the shaking goes. It, that's just north, in between um, uh, Ridgecrest and um, Long Valley and the Inyo craters. But th as you can see here, uh, aerial... Shake intensity, 3.6. We have a, a series of 3.5, 3.6, 3.9, 4-point-something. They're going on there all, all day long, all week long. And this is the area of, let's go back to our, uh, okay, where is it here? Our map. Okay, and pulling out, this is the San Andreas Fault. This is the Hayward Fault. And the San Andreas Fault, of course, is the biggest fault in California. Then we have the Garlic Fault, the second largest fault in California. And then we have the Walker Lane Fault System, which is hundreds of faults together. And that's where we have our uh, Sierra Nevada range. That's where we have all our high threat volcanoes right there. Okay, And of course, Long Valley is considered a very high threat volcano right there. And uh, it's uh, inflating, as we know. So all of you there, please be very careful, because we have a tremendous amount of activity as compared to the rest of the world, obviously. And th thank you for your support. Please be careful. And um, please ring the bell for more videos, share and subscribe, and leave your comments. Thank you so much.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.